All right, guys, Cutter Boy 32 here, check it out. So I wanted to do this real quick video because uh, there's a lot of people out there with uh, scopes with the ACSS radical. And I know you're probably all sick and tired of hearing me say anything about it, but today what we're doing is we are shooting the uh, Platinum. This is the competition rifle, and what I'm trying to do is, uh, one, re-zero it after that latest event we did with the, uh, the Microdot, which, by the way, damn, the thing's bad. Uh, secondly, what I'm wanting to do is reset my turret stops down to zero. And also because we're shooting with the uh, uh, 45 degree offset, um, what do you call these things? Oh God, brain dead. Uh, back of iron sights, I wanted to zero those in at 25 yards because hey man, if for chance they have a target at 300 and I've got these up, I can just pop those up, pop, 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 because at 25, it pretty much goes back to uh, 300 with a 55 grain. But what we're doing is we are shooting this thing with the 77 grain. Now we were going ahead and re-zeroed it, and according to the load calculations and all the other beautiful things that we have in the mathematical world, we got a uh, 50 yard plus a quarter on the zero. So... What I have now is I have another target out there uh, at 300, and what I'm trying to do is calibrate it so that I know that my rounds are impacting exactly on the 300. I would have liked to have done it with the 400, but let me just say this. I'm smacking steel uh, out to 500 without a problem and uh, that I can see. So what we're going to do is go ahead and I'll show you this. I've got a target out there with two six inch targets on it and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put three rounds on each one of the targets and we'll see where they land and that way I know I need to come up or down because what I'm try trying to do is I'm not trying to shoot at 50 yards or 200 yards I'm trying to shoot dead center across the whole gamut with the radical and this is going to make that happen like I said I really would have liked to have had the 400 yard target out there but that's uh, a different story. Uh, cool thing is, I did talk to uh, Ray X Ring today, and it was <laughs> we always we always chat with each other. But uh, the difference is, is when you are shooting a three gun competition, you're not shooting from a rest position, and you're usually breathing really hard. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna shoot that top target first. There's a camera up there. Let's see where they hit. Here we go. There's zero wind today. Tuck up on the gun. Turn the camera a little bit. All right, I'm going to go three on the bottom. that right I'm not sure this is the first time I've decided to go ahead and shoot a three gun with a 16 inch barrel uh, there's gonna be a lot of just far end stuff a lot of close end stuff and we'll see anyway let's get up there and see how we did here we go all right well what we found out is that if I take the center line of that guy right there, I'm shooting three inches high at 300 yards. It's one MOA high. Uh, so what do you want to do about that? You know what? I'm not exactly sure because that's a it's pretty close. Uh, but in any case, we'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll go ahead and drop it down a click or two. But uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to verify that exact thing and see how it went and uh, make adjustments from there. But that's it. That's how you calibrate these things. You want to send them out as far as you can and see how it works. I'd love again to have this thing out at the uh, 400 yard, but uh, this is it. It's Coda Boy 32. If you like the video, I know it was kind of boring, but uh, that's how you calibrate these things. Coda Boy, <laughs> yeah, hey, that's me. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. It's Coda Boy 32. I'm out.